Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and I have a ton of gift guide videos on my channel just like this one. I have all sorts of ones from Easter, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Halloween, birthdays, so many of them for so many years. So if you need a lot of gift guide ideas, I am your girl, but I also have a lot of other content on my channel, plus size fashion, cooking, dinner, what's for dinner videos, recipe videos, uh, home decor, beauty, all that type of stuff. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you stuck around and joined our little family. And if you haven't followed me already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I will have everything linked below. But today's video is an exciting one. I've had a couple of you guys message me about this and knowing that it was coming up. So thank you guys for just remembering that. I think it's so sweet when you guys remember my kid's birthday. Um, but today is what I got my five-year-old for her birthday. So if you've never seen me before, I have two daughters. My oldest is Olive and she is seven. And my youngest is Eleanor and she is about to turn five on March 6th. So um, it's just in a couple of days and I'm about to wrap all these presents up and so I wanted to get this filmed for you guys to get you some ideas. Um, the best thing about both of their birthdays, one of the, not the best thing, one of the good things about their birthdays is that both of my girls, Olive turned seven in November and Eleanor's is obviously in March, their birthdays are right before kind of a gift giving holiday. Ollie's is right before Christmas and Eleanor's is right before Easter. So a lot of these items can easily be transferred to different holidays. Um, and I hopefully, I feel like it's pretty, pretty, there's a wide variety of items here and a lot of different interests. So I hopefully can give you some good ideas. I'm excited for this year's, I feel like a fifth birthday is a really special birthday and I cannot believe she's five. It's like, it makes me super emotional. <laughs> um, but she is amazing and so funny and a heart of gold and just one of the cutest, funniest kids I've ever met in my life, and I'm so proud of her, and I hope this next year is super special and magical for her. So, um, I want to share with you some of these ideas. For some of you, this may be like a giant amount, and for some of you, this may be nothing. It's a mixture of gifts I'm giving her personally, my husband and myself, as well as um, my mother-in-law and my mom, um, and so it's kind of just all of her cumulative gifts together. And for her actual like birthday extravaganza, um, since we're still in a global pandemic, things have gotten so much better and the numbers in our area are like next to nothing, which is such a, such a blessing. Um, but we decided to again forego like a bigger party this year and we're still having like a small little intimate party with my mom and my brother and my daughter and my husband and stuff. Um, and we're going out to like a fun restaurant uh, that we all really love. They get to go to Claire's, so that's part of her birthday. She gets to go to Claire's and pick out a couple of things. That's like their favorite thing to do. And then we are gonna go to like a fun play place, um, indoor playground area that she loves as well and she gets sleepovers and all that type of stuff so it's like a fun full weekend full of activities and things to do um, but it's not like a big huge party however part of her birthday is themed of Thai beanie boos if you've never know what they are they basically look like this they're super adorable, super cute. This is not a beanie boo, but it's the face of a beanie boo. Um, and she is obsessed with them. So is my oldest, they have so many. And this year her birthday theme was a Thai beanie boo theme. So I get a lot of questions normally when I have my birthday videos of what we end up doing, some ideas like that, um, especially for budgets and budgeting reasons. So we like to try to save money and birthday kids' birthdays can be just insanely expensive. So instead, um, we are just going, like I said, to those few places and having like a little fun party. We do decorate for her party and so, um, she has all a bunch of Thai Beanie Boo decorations up at my mom's right now. And I took all of their collection over there and I made them individual party hats. I will try to insert a video because I think it's so gosh darn cute. Um, individual party hats and then I bought a number of them. So I can't show you those right now, um, but it's kind of her first gift. Um, a number of Beanie Boos that are adoptables. So I got them set up in a cute little area and have adopt me sign on them. And so her and her sister can adopt a couple of Beanie Boos to add to their collection and then they all get a party together because they all have little party hats so um it's gonna be really fun and i think she's gonna love um how the decorations turned out inexpensive easy way to do it um but still makes her feel special so 
I always try to make sure they have decorations no matter what we're doing. Um, and so the first gift is a Beanie Boo purse. So this is something that she's asked for for a long time. She's obsessed, like I said, with Beanie Boos, but she now wanted to expand her collection into purses. So this one is Heather. It's this cute little cat. Um, and they have the full size Beanie Boo of her, but she wanted the purse and it has like this little cute like chain link strap it has like no room i have no idea what she's gonna put in here probably her shopkins um but really for her it's more about the collector aspect she's such a collector so um this was off of the thai beanie website i haven't seen these in person but i'm sure you probably can find them but i get this off the thai website itself that is the cheapest um, place to find beanie boos and you know thai items it's free shipping and the shipping super super fast i've recommended that website to you guys time and time again i use it all the time i honestly wish they had like a frequent rewards program for how much i shop on that thing for my kids um but that's what i recommend if you're looking for these or just tie beanie boos in general feel like you save a bunch of money so um this is hers and i know she's going to be so excited and it kind of goes along with the other beanie boos so that is her first official present for their presents, normally we try really hard to get them, and we did this for all of as well, is like more um, interest and hobby based items. That's normally what we try to focus their birthdays around. Christmas is normally like a free for all. You make a list what you want but for birthdays we try to focus more on special interests now eleanor is still kind of developing her special interests she's a toy kid through and through so there is there still are a lot of toys here but there are a couple special interest items that she asked for or things that we thought we she'd really enjoy um with olive most of her stuff i mean she has a ton of interest so it was it's a lot easier to buy for her but eleanor's a little bit trickier but if you watch i will link it below i just um did one for all of november for her seventh birthday and she um got a whole bunch of gymnastics stuff she's super into gymnastics so we got her leotards matt um a balance beam those types of things and that is like such a fun way to kind of focus and kind of grow their hobbies and special interests and talents um but eleanor we're still trying to learn that so we're going to give a couple items that are more special interest themed but um that is a really good way to shop for your little one if you're having a hard time figuring out how and which which direction to go for gift giving one of the items though that i would consider special interest because it's one of my special interests is makeup so um i buy my girls makeup just for them to use to help create and self-express um we don't they don't wear it to school or anything like that but i love being able to buy them for that them makeup it's something that i truly love and i find to be so therapeutic and relaxing and an art form and it's so fun for me and they have started to really enjoy it too um and so for all of you watch what i got my kids for christmas video i got her a caboodle um and eleanor was obsessed with it and wants one for herself so i picked out a caboodle for her now we all three have caboodles <laughs> i have one right there i use it all the time to travel with my olive has hers and has loved it and now i got this one for eleanor i got this one off of amazon for about twenty dollars it's more of like a silverly silverly silvery glitter kind of iridescent color eleanor's favorite colors right now are silver and gold and so i thought this was perfect for her um if you've never seen a caboodle you obviously are not a 90s baby um but it is a makeup storage bin so there's a big storage area down here storage up here this opens up actually to a giant mirror and there's more storage up here so um it is perfect for them to store their favorite makeup or all of their makeup but also they're like all of keeps of like her favorite hair accessories in there and just like i don't know it's just so fun and girly like this is such a fun gift to give my girls i feel like it's kind of like a big girl gift and so this is eleanor's first official big girl gift so um this is kind of like a self interest thing for me because it's one of my special interests is makeup so i'm excited to give that to her and i think she's going to love it next um she specifically asked for a articulated barbie so my girls love dolls they love barbies they love rainbow highs that's like their most wanted toy and especially articulated ones they don't really like ones that are not articulated um that's kind of off their list they want them fully articulated and so i went on a hunt to get a new one for her um they have a couple 
and they have a lot of rainbow highs but not a ton of articulated barbies and so i went on the hunt on amazon to find one and i found this one these are from the barbie signature looks collection they're more high-end i feel like collector dolls um but they're stunning so this is her i think she's absolutely beautiful she looks like eleanor all grown up i love her i think she's stunning um and they have a whole bunch of different ones i think this is like a specific season i think that they do change it up but they're all beautiful all different body shapes sizes heights races i love them i love her i want her so bad i want her for me because i think she is beautiful um anyway they're all really beautiful super cute and really nice quality barbies um they're like fully articulated down to her wrist elbows shoulders head neck ankles hips legs everything um and she was a bit more pricey she was 38 dollars, but like i said i feel like you're paying for the quality and the articulation so i think she will get a lot of use out of her she's stunning i'm super excited she comes with a full stand so like i said i think they're supposed to be like collector's editions but she's gonna be playing with her um and along that same line my mother-in-law got her an articulated barbie so if you don't want to spend the 38 dollars on that you can go with still getting articulation but um it's a little less expensive um so this is from the barbie extra line we have a number of the barbie extra dolls and really like them too they're really great quality 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 um this is around 20 dollars or so this is the new season of them um and they have a bunch of different these are the ones on the back um bunch of different ones again super cute different body sizes heights races i love the barbie extras because they are um really eccentric and fun i feel like they are the equivalent to like um omg dolls or rainbow highs they are mattel's version of those they're just like really fun and exciting colors kind of crazy um but they're super cute so this was the one that eleanor really wanted from this line number 11 um she does she has like the like like food accessories like her purse is like a cereal box and she's like random cereal boxes i don't really know where we're going with that but um, it's really cute. So this is the one that she wanted and my mother-in-law took her to Target and was like, pick what you want. So of course Eleanor's like, okay. So this is the one she picked. So now she has two articulated Barbies to add to her collection. Um, but we really like the Barbie extras. We would definitely recommend them if you haven't tried them out before. We like them a lot. All right. Um, moving on. So along that same line, or at least for my mother-in-law, oh my gosh um my girls love stuffed animals obviously from the beanie boos but that it's just growing it's just growing that's all they want is stuffed animals and i don't mind they're super cute they're comforting to them they make me happy typically they're not super expensive um and so to go along with that stuffed animal obsession this is eleanor's um and our whole house first like rainbow, rainbow corn these were like super popular a couple years back but i feel like um they had no interest in them but now they really like them and think they're super cool. So Eleanor has like a vast knowledge of toys. So she's like, everything's inside of this. I'm sure she saw it on like YouTube Kids or something, but she's very excited um, and asked for this one. And this is the Rainbow Corns Fairy Corn Surprise. Um, it comes with like a little set of fairy, ling fairy wings that she can actually wear. There's like a stuffy in here. I think slime, Lord help me. Um, I think like little figures, like Hatchimal type of ones. I honestly have no idea what's in this thing, um, but she's very excited about this. Um, and this is actually from Target, and this is another gift from my mother-in-law. Um, I think the packaging is super cute. Like if I was a little kid, like this packaging would get me. I'd be like, yes, one of those, um, because it's really cute. So I'm, I'm excited to see what's inside. I have honestly no idea. Um, but I know that those are pretty popular. So, all right, moving right along. This is another stuffed animal. Her special interests are stuffed animals <laughs> uh, and collecting. So this isn't something she ever asked for either, but it was like all of a sudden, this is something she was really into. Honestly, I don't know. This is Scruffalove's Families um, from Little Live Pets from um this is a target so i guess you wash them you figure out which one i guess you can get twins or rare triplets and then you kind of groom them and make them all cute and fluffy and it comes like a full little panda family so um really adorable and 
it comes with a couple accessories this is something that she saw again with my mother-in-law was like i'll take one of those um honestly i have no idea really much about these ones either but i feel like these are kind of a popular item as well anyway this was another thing that my uh, mother-in-law picked up at target and i haven't i really can't give you any sort of honest opinion about that because i've never seen it before but i like opened it but i think it has pretty good reviews online so that is that one. Now, moving on to more like special interest items. Again, kind of like a hobby thing that we're trying to, you know, let her explore and enjoy. Um, she specifically asked for this, but if you saw my, uh, what I got my kids for Christmas video, my oldest daughter asked for a bunch of paint and canvases and paintbrushes. She loves art. It's like one of her all time favorite things and is, um, one of her big favorite hobbies and something that we've tried to invest in because she really genuinely loves it and enjoys it. So Eleanor also specifically asked for a set of paints too. Once she saw Ollie having a grand old time with it, Eleanor wanted to have a grand old time with it. So Ollie's we actually got at Walmart, um, a huge set from Walmart, and but this one is from Target. So this is from Mondo Llama from Target and it's a set of 24 acrylic paints. I wanna say that there's more in here than there was Ollie's. I want to say this was cheaper, but I'm not positive on that. Um, it had really good reviews online, and it comes with a bunch of different colors, obviously 24 different ones. They have ones that are like metallic glitter and more exciting, like neon, but we got um, just like a basic set for her, just a nice set of acrylic paints. I want to say this was like around $15. Um, and then she also asked for canvases, and um, I can't find the canvases and a pack of paintbrushes. I'll put the pictures up. The paintbrushes are also from Mondelama and they have like a fun um like normal you know paint brushes but then they have like texturized style ones and like rollers and funds that want things that you can create a lot of different texture and dimension on um and that was like a pack of however many of them for five dollars i can't find them hopefully i can before tomorrow and then um i found this and i just thought this would be so fun for her so this is another um thing from mondo llama from target it's just like a wood um, a little rainbow, but I thought it'd be fun for her to paint and create um, on. She's still, like, Ollie really likes to draw and paint and create from a, just a blank thing. Eleanor's still learning um, to, uh, she, like, enjoys coloring books and coloring in versus just freehand drawing. So, oh, excuse me, I thought this would be nice for her to be able to paint on that still kind of gives, like, a structure to it, but be able to create and use different colors and make a um, little piece of like room decor for herself so i figured ollie's gonna really want one of these i should have bought a second one to put um uh, to give ollie because she's gonna want one but these were like five dollars or so and it's a nice big piece of wood like durable piece of craft wood um from target so that's all gonna be in one present along with the paintbrushes and the little canvases i get the canvases from walmart um a little pack of three or four of them i think came in it maybe six honestly don't remember but she wants small ones like her sister got and they're super inexpensive from um uh, walmart so that's where i would recommend to get those so that is her crafty special interest hobby item these next couple of items are more centered around eleanor's love for imaginative play she's a huge huge uh, into pretend play and imaginative play. She loves it. Um, and it's so fun to see her imagination grow. Since she's five, I feel like it's a really good kind of thing to continue to help develop for her. And so um, these next couple of items are more uh, geared along those things. Um, and so one of the first things I got her was this Disney Princess style laptop. This is something that um, she already actually has one of these, but this is like a more updated version. Um, but she loves to play office and be like a teacher and have her own office space. Um, and my oldest likes to play with her too. And so now they'll each have their own um, that they can play with. And this one's like, like I said, updated. So there's like, um, you turn it on, each of the buttons move separately. The other one, they have like a big clump of them. So this is a little bit more like escalated. Um, and there's like music and they have like zoom, like a fake zoom thing and a fake zoom chat. And this comes with like pretend AirPods. So 
this was like 19.99 um, i feel like the original one was like 14 so it definitely went up in price but um it's durable the other one says lasted a long time and they play with it all the time so i thought i'd get a second one to like add to their office um space and so that is one that i got and then this i got these both on target.com and this one no this one's from amazon this one is another one in those series we've had a lot from this princess uh disney princess style line and it, all of them have been incredible quality and the girls have loved them and they've lasted for years so this is the next one this is the deluxe tote and essentials so it comes with like pretend makeup a little pretend wallet a phone car keys um, a water bottle and like little glasses and this like little tote bag um she may be a little bit too old for this it's three plus but i figured again like she can have her little purse and tote bag and she's going to the office she loves to have the play phones like it's still something she's really into and i thought this would be fun to um have pretend play with so um both of these are kind of going together in a gift to add to her office collection because that's their big play thing but they also love to play teacher and this could be like a good like teacher bag and just like our mommy bag stuff like that so i really like i said i really like this disney princess style line and we have been purchasing from this line since they were like two so they've lasted a long time and we've really really liked them so i would definitely recommend from that line and you can get that stuff off of amazon target walmart um, Disney store stuff like that all right another thing she loves is dress up so I got this collection of dress up shoes from Amazon the super like little cheapy little dress up shoes these were things that I feel like you could find all the time in like grocery stores do you remember that like I, when I was a kid these were the things that I wanted the most were these little like fake heels and you'd find them at like Kroger's and like all the stuff down like the grocery aisles toy aisles and I loved them and she loves them and she has a pair that she's worn so much that they've cracked that I just need to get rid of but she won't let me and so I decided that I would add to her collection and throw away the ones that are broken and buy her some more of these she loved and it's just gonna be so cute when she's like carrying around her little Disney fake purse and going to the office in her heels I just think it's so gosh darn cute um these ones look to be a bit bigger, like will fit her little feet versus some of the other ones I saw were made for smaller kids. So I feel like these are good for her age group. Um, and there's four different pairs. So there's uh, three actual like plastic pairs and then one like little set of ballet slippers. These slippers look like they're gonna be too small for her, but the other ones think, I think they'll fit just fine. Um, it's a good thing for these if you have like wood floors or slippery floors, um, if you're worried about slip because they don't really have any grips. They look like they have a little bit, but it's to take hot um, glue and make like a pattern like a zigzag or a, a grid pattern on the bottom of the shoe and it helps grip it a little bit to the floor that's something that we've done in the past and works really really well um anyway but i know that she's gonna be very excited to have a bunch of um pretend dress up heels because she loves these things okay so moving on to the last two items um this last item is probably the most expensive out of the whole shebang and this is actually from my mom this is something that eleanor has asked for for a while when she first saw it on all the different toy channels on youtube kids um and this was like the biggest toy of the christmas holidays and ever since has still been giant and hard to get because of tiktok because i feel like a lot of adults have really liked it too and that's the magic mixies so um this is like a little cauldron and um, inside there's like a magic mixy pet and you do a little potion and a little make a wish and a spell and it fogs and then like the pet pops out it's completely interactive like this uh, the wand interacts with the cauldron as well as the pet which I think is really cool um, and you can do reuse this over and over again so it's not just like a one-time use um, so that being said I went ahead and bought the magic mixies refill pack so this will, will do 20 more spells spells um and there's like wishing spells luck spells and it comes oh there's two new spells too so um yeah it comes with like a bunch of different or more spells to add to it so you don't just use one and done this was about 9.99 and i think you can get this at walmart and target and maybe amazon 
Um, but the Magic Mixies, there's a bunch of different, there's two main colors and I think there's a third color out too. Um, but this is the pink one that she has talked about and asked for. Um, and so I just think this is so cool. I am so excited for this present. <laughs> like this is so exciting for me. Like I'm super excited. I feel like I'm like all the adults on TikTok and all like the teenagers who are going to buy these things because they like are so fun. It's like a full little like cauldron that fogs and bubbles and it's so cool. So I can't wait to do this with her. I feel like this is going to be like a present for me. So anyway, I feel like a dork saying that, but it's true. Um, but this is like the little mixy pet that comes with it. It's super cool. If you've never seen these videos with these toys, definitely go Google it. I think it's so entertaining and so fun. Um, or like go on TikTok and like type in magic mixies and you'll see like a bunch of different ones. So anyway, this is the main thing that she has asked for. And it's definitely a bit on the pricier side. I think that's like 60 bucks. And during Christmas, people were priced like gouging them and making them like 200 like insane but i'm super excited that she um can get a little hands on it and we all do it together and i feel like it's gonna be super fun during halloween time i'm already thinking about october <laughs> um but that is her last present so i hope you enjoyed this video i feel like the gifts are kind of like all over the board but i hope that was good enough for different ideas for you um like i said i will have everything linked below below as usual um and also oh i forgot to include this this is going to be at her little play setting i got this at walmart it's from the patch party line and they have them still um, but when i got this it was like on clearance for 224 um but now they're back for full price again i don't really know what happened with that but it's like a cute piece of cake and you open it and fill it you take off this little edge of frosting right here kind of a pain to open i will say um oh my gosh and you fill it up and then you have your little juice cup so i feel like this is going to be such a cute um little birthday tradition that my girls can have on their special days um for their birthdays roll around so this is hers um like i said it's from walmart for the packed party line that's um i got it for 224 but i think they're back to full price now which is like six something so that is the last little item like I said, we're going out to dinner, going to a play place, going to Claire's, and that is for her full birthday. She gets a sleepover, so um, her full birthday weekend in extravaganza. So I hope that you enjoyed this um, video and got a lot of good ideas. And I, of course, will have everything linked below. Keep an eye out because Easter is a coming. And I will have their Easter baskets um, idea videos for you as well. And I'm super excited to share those ones with you. I have a lot of good ideas um, that I can't wait to share with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.